This video is designed to help you start a candy business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's a candy business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful candy business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. There's one important thing to note when marketing your candy store, you must provide a family-friendly atmosphere. One thing that all corporate candy brands have in common is that they are family friendly. While there may be some cheeky innuendos here and there, most confectionery commercials, adverts, and billboards refrain from swear words and inappropriate content. When applying this to how to start a candy business, these stores must use banners, posters, and online ads to convey an inviting feeling. This will also work by decorating your candy store in a colorful, whimsical fashion. Whichever form of advertisement is chosen, it is a great idea to use humor or nostalgia. Using humor will draw attention to your brand, while easing the tension of consuming something unhealthy. Nostalgia marketing, on the other hand, eases this tension by reminding the audience of that pleasant feeling they've gotten when eating something sweet. Adding a catchy slogan will add a cheerful vibe to the shopping experience. It also works to instill a memorable phrase into the customer's head. Think of all the candy brands that are known for their slogans, as soon as we hear the words taste the rainbow, or don't let hunger happen to you, we know exactly what it means. Using a slogan for your candy store gives it the instant recognition it needs to succeed long term. Use social media. A daily scroll through your favorite social media app will tell you that candy brands advertise everywhere, with daily reminders that your favorite treats are packed onto the shelves of your local supermarket. While small business owners may not have the same resources or time, it is still possible to use Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for regular updates. Being a food item, candy is best advertised through visuals. Photographing delectable close-ups of your homemade confectionery is a great way to draw in an online crowd. Showing the process of making the confectionery will bring in more intrigue. Vibrant packaging. When looking at the packaging of your average chocolate bar or fruity snack, what do you see? Every candy wrapper displays its logo in bold, recognizable lettering, along with complementary colors and imagery. A good candy brand requires a professional logo. Once you have that original symbol and style set in place, you should experiment with different variations and packaging colors for whichever flavors are offered. Skittles, for example, has its original flavor in red packaging, its wild berry flavor in a purple packaging, and its sour flavor in green packaging. All of these variations have the same recognizable assets that set them apart from any other brand. Packaging is a crucial aspect of selling candies. Mascots. You might want to consider having a mascot to represent your candy business. Though it is very much optional, Designing a unique mascot will attract child customers, all while making your small business stand out from competitors. On holidays and special occasions, someone can be hired to dress up and give out samples. You can also feature this mascot in adverts, flyers, and posters. A brand that's well known for doing this is M&M's. Their famous commercials feature personified candies of every original color, each with its own personality. Coming up with a mascot design is similar to creating a company logo. Small business owners must think of complementary colors, shapes, and features that are pleasing to the eye. Focus on the holidays. There's a reason why you see so many candy ads around Christmas time, Halloween, and Easter. During the holiday seasons, when people are looking to spend time with families, organize parties, and have endless celebrations, customers are more likely to buy candy as gifts. This is why you'll sometimes see entire aisles dedicated to holiday candy sales. While small candy stores may not be able to invest in a festive commercial, they can most certainly make the best of the holidays. Special recipes and packaging for specific celebrations are the perfect way to attract new customers. During the month of February, for instance, a fancy box filled with assorted chocolates will be in high demand. Become a sponsor. Many small business owners do not think of this, but becoming a sponsor is one of the best ways to get your brand's name out there. Be on the lookout for local youth sports teams, school events, festivals, or community events. Large corporate brands do the same thing on a bigger scale. They advertise their products at televised sporting events, placing their product logos in the back of everyone's mind. Sponsorships are the perfect opportunity for exposure. While it is great to sell products and earn money at sponsored events, the main goal for small business owners should be to put their names out there. Hand out flyers and samples while informing people about your candy business. More ideas. Sell candies not just in-store but online. Create a website that is just as wistful and inviting as the shop. 
Passers-by love free food, so the best way to lure them into your shop is to sell samples right outside. Be sure to warn people of any common allergens. Never stop improving your brand. Keeping up with trends and offering new products is essential for maximizing your profit. Offer coupons in different magazines and newspapers. This will increase exposure while giving people a reason to visit your store. Dedicating your life to candy isn't always an easy task. But by putting as much effort into your promotion as possible, you will see your brand start to flourish in a flash. The next part of the video is not specific to a candy business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in the candy business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. Operating a successful candy business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis for a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea, of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no, to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? Three. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? 7. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan, based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? Do you know what financial reports, should be prepared, and how to prepare them? Finances. A large number of small businesses, fail each year. 
There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs try to start and operate a business without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business? Must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses and multiply it by three. This is the amount of cash you will need to cover operating expenses for three months. Deposit this amount in a savings account before opening your business. Use it only for those purposes listed in the above list because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs to the total expenses for three months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for three months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month because of seasonal patterns and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection will show if the monthly cash balance is going to be subject to such factors as the following, failure to recognize seasonal trends, excessive cash taken from the business for living expenses, too rapid expansion, and slow collection of accounts if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running a candy business is a continuous learning process. Research your idea and do as much as you can yourself, but don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free candy business plan gift. Go to the description below this video to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this.